This morning, we are continuing our coverage of the passing of U.S. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. And joining us now is State Representative Jolanda Jones to talk about her impact, which goes beyond politics. Good morning. We want to give our condolences to you. I know you had a personal relationship with the Congresswoman. Uh, what will you miss most about her? And are there any personal memories that you'd like to share with us? Oh, uh I'll just miss that she's not here. I mean, she was everywhere. If there was a natural disaster, she was on it. She was getting food for the people who didn't have it. She was a voice for the voiceless. And she just worked. I mean, she, she wasn't, if a camera saw her, you saw her picking up ice, handing it to people, picking up food, handing it to people. And she just was a master of knowing what her constituents wanted. She was always there. So if your lights were out, her lights might've been out too she was going to go find the people whose lights weren't out and she was going to figure out what they needed and that's what i missed from her but you know what people don't understand is i'm a survivor of domestic violence i had a domestic violence awareness event last october because that's the month she showed up because she knows how many women and people die from domestic violence we literally wouldn't have a juneteenth federal holiday if it weren't for her she's she was persistent she's resilient and she's tough and she knew that sometimes you can't always just say what people want to hear. Sometimes it's popular to do the bad thing. She was never afraid, I mean, absolutely never, to say what needed to be said, even when it was uncomfortable to do. And she took hits, but guess what? The people that mattered the most were her constituents. And time and time and time again, for over 30 years, they reelected her back to Congress. And I will tell you, I was proud to have endorsed her for mayor. And then when she ran for Congress this last session, I absolutely worked for her, campaigned for her, because she is best for her constituents. We share constituents. And my constituents would say, hey, how's the Congresswoman doing? Are you helping the Congresswoman? We want her back. And so she listened to the people, and that's why I guess she died as a member of Congress, because people in the 18th Congressional District, we love her. We respect her and we always had her back because she always had ours. And you know what? She didn't just fight for people in Houston. We know she helped out in the uh, Jackson, Mississippi water crisis as well. Can you speak to that? Absolutely. So there was a, a water drive at City Hall and we, you know, we were encouraged to bring water, which we all did. And we were encouraged to get there. There was a line of people who were in need. They were taking the water to Jackson. People were dropping off water for us to put on trucks. And we were there picking up cases of water together. I mean, it, we were relentless with it. It took forever. She was there. I mean, that was, I believe that was last year. She was 73. How many 73 year olds do you know are out picking up cases of water, putting them, loading them into trucks to take to Jackson? I mean, she was a crusader for the world. She did stuff overseas as well. I mean, she was against uh, violence against women, not only here in the States, but across the seas. So she was there. So she was truly an international person. And she was as close to a celebrity as any elected official is. You didn't you didn't say Congresswoman Jackson Lee. You know what you call her? Congresswoman. It was that and when they said Congresswoman, even though there are a lot of Congresswomen, we knew who they were talking about. Congresswoman Jackson Lee. Because she worked hard for the people and she deserves her flowers. And so although I'm a I'm sad because I want to hear her voice, or I won't see her everywhere. Literally, she was everywhere. Her imprint is left everywhere. Absolutely. And she's around even when she's not, she's no longer here in body. But let me tell you, she's in our minds. And, and I think that anybody who's elected or anybody who's a public servant, we're gonna take from her. Like, what did she do well? Why did she continue to get reelected? Because she always listened to her constituents, regardless of what outside noise said okay. and that's why we're here so i'm sad but i'm i'm celebrating because she it, uh, it was like job well done yeah congresswoman job well done leaves behind an incredible legacy thank you so much representative jolanda jones for joining us this morning we appreciate it